Sober or not, nostalgia and its weighty romanticisms, memories and their wistful musings, weren't applicable in the present. Unless as references, they served exclusively in the obituaries. There they dwelled in the significance of an insignificant yesterday, awaiting the thief of passing days to rob them of their precisions and divorce those still wedded to their previous lives. As it happened, the past was neither bolted nor shut. Rather than a closed, locked door, it was an egress to hundreds of thousands of gateways, each of which were shrinking and falling further apart. It was history rubbing itself away like the sleep from an eye. Measured in wrinkles, dated and distinguished, it used smells as transportation devices and photos as headstones to mark their final resting grounds. Yet, in the end, the burrows entrenching what were no longer provided physical spaces to occupy. Inaccurate and artificial, they worked only as versions of dredged-up stories, and the memories that couldn't be killed off would eventually fake their own death.